Hi, and welcome back to Pear Tech Talk. In this video, I thought that we should take a look on the new microcontroller from ST, the Ultra Low Power U385. And to do this, I'm going to take the Nucleo board, the Nucleo U385, and together with the ST Link V3 Power to set up so we can measure the power in coming videos. And to make the measurements, we will also use the STM32 cube power viewer so we can make measurements there. Hope you find it interesting and tag along. So this is the setup that we are aiming for to get when we are done. So here we have the ST-Link V3 power. So this one is an ST-Link interface. So we have an interface there, which we can make uh, programming and debugging with. I won't use that feature on this tool this time. I will only use the current measurements. So I will use these two terminals, the ground, uh, which I have connected to a blue wire, going to the ground pin on the nuclear board there. And I also have this purple wire, I didn't have a red one, uh, going from the output voltage uh, to the uh, pin 2 on the uh, current measurements. So there is normally a jumper there. Uh, you just have to remove that jumper and uh, put this pin on the pin 2. And that is the furthest to the left side. Uh, so that is making it easy. So to the left side of the two pins, that is where you put the voltage, uh, where you source it from. And this tool then you can put a different output voltage. We will show that in the STM32 cube monitor power uh, shortly. So, and then I also have this USB cable that is connecting the ST-Link V3 uh, to the microcontroller. So, I actually have two ST-Links, which also will inflict some uh, complications. Uh, we will see that later on. But I did this with purpose, so you can see how to get along with these problems. But this is the, the setup, and I will only make a setup, so we will have a blink, nothing else, on this uh, video. So more tools that we need for this application is the STM32 Cube IDE, and you need to have it updated so it's uh, up to speed. And we also need to download and install the STM32 Cube Monitor Power, where we will then control the ST-Link V3 Power uh, with this tool. And you also need a terminal for some kind, just so that we will have some print out on it. So I will just use Teratom. You can use whatever you want. So we start by having uh, to create a new project. I have done this several times before, so I will uh, not talk too much of, uh, through it. I will just speed. So here is a new thing with uh, the later versions of STM32 Cube IDE. You get a board project, uh, project options that you can initialize the, the GPIOs and the virtual COM ports and stuff that are on the board that is on the BSP. So here we have the user LD2 and the green one and we have a user button the B1 and the virtual COM port and we will use all of them and we can ask it to generate a demonstration code for us also and we will just hit OK. That is the fast way to get up and running. In this case I don't choose to uh, enable the iCache, I will just generate the code anyhow. We won't be doing anything in the project, we will just have it as a functional C that it's uh, running. So I will just create the project and we will get a new warning for the iCache again. So here we have the project, uh, just to have a small look through it. It has a main file, it initializes uh, the uh, button state to button released, and uh, we don't have much more here. Yeah, we initialize the LED, a green LED, and uh, we set up the UART here, and we have a small printf welcome to the STM32 world. And then we have a small LED there as well. Uh, now let's see, here we have what is happening. So whenever we press the uh, button, the B1 button, uh, it will toggle the state for the button and it will also toggle the LED. So what we can do here is also make a, a printf. 
so we will see something happening on the terminal every time we also print uh, the push the button and also uh, we will have the LED toggle. Uh, so we can build a project. So and we can then start the debug. So before we debug we need to take a look in this tool the STM32 Cube Power Monitor and uh, this is where we connect to the ST-Link V3 Power and here we select now the COM port and uh, what is also say necessary to say this uh, USB connector here uh, that is a green and that need to be green otherwise it uh, with the USB connector that is connected to doesn't support it with enough current to function correctly so uh, what we do now is we take control over it and uh, we can then set the output voltage on the uh, purple wire there and that is 3.3 volt and we set power on so now the led here turned on and we now source power to the microcontroller board so now the board is ready for taking the new software so what we can do is uh, we can go under the back configuration and uh, what we now need to verify since we have two ST-Link interfaces and it's hard to know which one it is because there is only a serial number but I think that this one is my board uh, because we want to use the ST-Link on the nuclear board so we, we take this one that in my case ends with 3730 and apply that one and see if we can get connections to the board And then it's also crucial that you have put output power on this interface. Otherwise, the microcontroller there won't have any power and you can't program it. But it's downloaded successfully. And we can now bring in the terminal here. And we can uh, print run for the code. And it says, welcome to the STM32 world. And we can now look on the board there. There is a small LED. And whenever I now push... The button the led will toggle and each time it will also uh, print out on the screen there so this was just how to set up the board and how to get it up and running and uh, i will uh, use this tool in the, uh, some videos to make some measurements on uh, different sleep modes and stuff hope you liked the video give me a thumbs up please uh, it really helps the channels to be uh, growing and it doesn't cost you anything. And uh, if you're not a subscriber and you find these uh, videos uh, useful, please co consider to do so as well. And if you have some uh, topics that you would like to see in uh, the coming videos, please use the chat below as well. So I'll see you next video. Stay safe. Bye.